It's an epic journey, 1,450 miles from the headwaters of the mighty Colorado River to the Gulf of California. I came to rivers because I was interested in wild places. John Waterman's journey begins in the pristine valleys of Rocky Mountain National Park and descends into the wild white waters of Gore Canyon and even wilder waters of the Grand Canyon. But soon after, the waters calm. They begin to vanish. Diverted for farms and urban use, the Colorado River slowly diminishes. Down the border between California and Arizona, and across the border into Mexico, the Colorado River disappears. We've definitely run out of water, that's for sure. This dry stretch of soil is where the mighty Colorado River ends its journey. A large number of people I talk to, when they learn that Colorado, the mighty force of nature, no longer reaches the sea, there's a look of shock and consternation on most people's faces. John Waterman and the river he loves are running dry. <laughs> 